Hi, in this video we are looking at the DE10 Nano FPGA development system running in an arcade cabinet using a JPAC to interface everything. So this is the kit that you buy. I found the best place to buy in the UK is from DigiKey and if you go on the Mr. GitHub forums you will find sellers that sell all the peripherals. Let's take a look at what I've got it in. So this is just a Tato Space Invaders cocktail that I brought. When I got it there was no game, no harness, no joysticks, no legs. So I've gradually been putting things into it. At the moment I just have a basic jammer harness. I put in a new power supply new joysticks and rewired everything. I've got the original CRT in there, it's not the best but it works. Might get round to recapping it one day. So this is our system, so this is the DE10 Nano board. We have an upgraded SD RAM, we have the IO 5.5 board. You can get the files to make these on the Mr. GitHub I had these PCBs made up and assembled these myself. We connect out of the I.O. board by a VGA into the JPAC. The JPAC is available on eBay and quite a few other places. It's designed for connecting a PC to a jammer cabinet. And we're doing basically the same thing here. So the JPAC takes the video levels and upgrades them to the ones that the arcade monitor is looking for. It also tells us that we have the correct signal, sync signal coming in. And then takes all the buttons from the jammer harness, converts them into key presses. That goes via like USB into the DE10 Nano. We have a little amplifier to take the signal out of that board. Goes through the JPAC and that goes through to the speakers. The DE10 Nano runs off a 5 volt, same as the amplifier, so I've just wired those up to the 5 volt on the JPAC on the edge connector. So it's fairly straightforward how everything connects up. I did a little bit of tweaking on the JPAC for the keys, and I just used the utility that is available from Ultimate Arc and just changed a couple of keys to match the ones that all of the arcade cores on Mister are using. It was just changing Fire 1 to Space, Fire 2 to Enter, and then Coin and Player 1 Start to the F1 key. So let's power this up. So it boots up really really quickly and when it boots up it goes into the menu where we can choose the cores that we want to use. So the menu uses the cursor keys and space. So that's how I've programmed the JPAC. So the joystick operates the cursor keys, button one operates space. And then we just select the game that we want. Press fire. So this isn't using emulation, it's FPGA. So somebody has recreated the original game hardware and then made a file that can be uploaded to this development platform. And then you have to uh, take the files, the ROM files out of MAME and just run a little batch file which creates the files that the Mr. Core needs to work. So this is running at the original arcade resolution, uh, 15 kilohertz. So again, there's no emulation, it's direct hardware. So 
I programmed the service switch to go back to the menu from here we can reboot choose another game That doesn't work is bomber jack and I think that's because it's fixed to VGA in the core and moon cresta the screen is flipped again in in the core and at the moment I don't know how to change that but all of the others work okay and it's really easy to just copy files onto the SD card I'll put the configuration file that I used in the description along with links to the Mr. GitHub, the wiki and all of the forums that are on uh, the Atari forum. This system can also do consoles, computers, Commodore Amiga, Atari ST. I believe the original MIST system was designed to run as the Atari ST. So there's a lot more support for those and there are quite there are a few arcade cores but there aren't that many. But it does have most of the classics. And I've only got the ones that will run vertically on this at the moment. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that interesting. Quite like this little system. It's quite flexible, it's easy to work with and uh, there are loads of options for connecting it up to VGA, HDMI, TVs, you can buy a SCART lead so you can run it on just a normal TV. But I found using the JPAC was really easy um, for connecting it into an arcade machine. So thanks for taking a look at this and hopefully you'll go and have a look at some of the other stuff that you can run on the DE10 Nano with the Mr. Project.